Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host KPZ. We've got another ship comparison here in World of Warships Legends. We're comparing the Japanese Tech Tree Tier 5 Destroyer Fubuki against the Japanese Premium Tier 5 Destroyer Shinonime. And the question I'm asking you here is, do you think the Shinonime is the most poorly implemented premium ship in the game? Okay, they are the same class of destroyer in real life. Okay, one's a premium, one's not a premium. Using the World of Tanks theory, premium ship, less powerful than tech tree ship. All right, so as you can see, same class of ship. They have the same hit points and the same armor. There is no difference here. And when we talk about the premium ship being less powerful than the tech tree ship, I just think they went overboard here. I think they nerfed the Shinonime too much. And they really had a better solution staring them right in the face. I think if they had done a little bit more work, I, I don't know why anyone would buy the Shinonime. All right, so looking here at the uh, guns, obviously you're not going to be shooting your guns a lot. But the Shinonime has 12 seconds longer turret traverse. Keep in mind the Fubuki in the port screen says sluggish aim, indicator of bad turret traverse. The Shinonime is almost double the turret traverse, but it doesn't have sluggish aim on there because it's a premium ship and eventually they're going to want you to buy it. Don't buy it unless it's on sale. All right, taking a look at the torpedoes here, you can see the Fubuki has a damage uh, superior to the Shinonime by 1,700 points and more. And also has two kilometers more of range. Shinonime does have some advantages. Slightly quicker reload. Torpedoes slightly faster in the water. Essentially, essentially here they gave Shinonime Mutsu... Uh, not Mutsuki. Is it Mutsuki? Mutsuki or Minikaze torpedoes. I can't remember which one. There's the Tier 4 destroyer torpedoes in the Shinonime. All right. So it's the same class of ship, but even so, they removed some of the AA mounts from the Shinonime and gave them crappier guns. Um, look, there's the same class of ship, boys and girls. I don't know how they justify this um, because everything I've read didn't say anything about, oh, we took guns off to uh, help the Shinonime out. No, it's the same class of destroyer. One would presume they have the same AA armament. All right, even here in the maneuverability screen, Shinonime gets hit. It has a seven tenths of a second slower rudder shift all these other numbers are the same, got the same level commander, got the same speed boost flag. But even in this screen, the Shinonime takes it in the shorts compared to the Fubuki. I mean, really, the only two categories where the Shinonime is equal to the Fubuki is survivability and concealment. So you see here, the concealment is identical. Again, I'm running the identical commander. They both have maxed out camo. So there's not really any difference here, nor was there any difference in the survivability. All right, so we're going to move on to a summary of some sort here in a second. I just want to take this moment to thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy these comparisons. If you do, you can always request more in the comments. So here's the lowlights of the Shinonime. It has a 12-second longer turret traverse. It has Mutsuki torpedoes. They have less range and damage. They do reload quicker. They are a little faster. But the Shinonime still has worse AA and worse rudder shift than the Fubuki. So is it worse in every way? No. Is it worse in almost every way? Absolutely. I got it out of the Super V crate. To my knowledge, it's the only way to get it. Maybe the rarest common ship in the game. Not counting the Alpha ships that they got for the alpha testers. Um, but is it worth going to, to get it, to grind it out um, by buying every other tier five premium? I can unequivocally say, no, it is not worth that. And eventually, like everything else, they're gonna put it in the steel shop, they're gonna put it in the store. Is it worth going crazy to get it? I have to say no. If you love Japanese DDs, if you love torpedo boats that sneak around and launch torpedoes, it's definitely crack and capable. In my opinion, it's worth about 8,000 
doubloons. It is not worth 10,000 doubloons. It's not worth all the other ships you got to buy to narrow down the drop rate of the Super V crate. So it's the only thing left. And it's definitely not worth, um, you know, much more than maybe 5,000 steel. And see, here's the thing. The Japanese made a Type 2 advancement to the Fubuki class, and the lead ship was the Ayanami. I probably mispronounced that. And it had a bunch more AA than the Fubuki. So it's simple. They should have made the Ayanami the Tier 5 tech tree ship, and the Fubuki should have been the premium ship. I know. I don't work for Wargaming. Clearly... I'm disloyal by promoting these crazy ideas involving logic and common sense. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this comparison. See you on the next video.